This morning in the kitchen, oh, we have so many burgers because Lux Burger Bar is here. Chef Max is joined by Natasha Nichols. There's a huge event coming up this weekend. Natasha, that's where you come in. It is a big burger contest, and you've Correct. done this now for this six our, years? Correct. This is our sixth annual burger contest. So what do we need to know about it? So we started on July 8th, mm -hmm. and from July 8th until Labor Day weekend, we received almost 500 submissions, and people were able to just build their own burger on our normal burger pad, where you build your burger like normal, and two secret ingredients. Ooh. We went through all of them, and we picked the top five finalists out of them, and since um, September 8th until now, people have been able to come in, order the burger. They're also able to vote on our Facebook and order, able to order on our uh, website. Awesome. So, Max, the burger that we're making today is one of the top five, yes, right? Yes, it is. What is the name of this one? So, this is the Rhode Islander. Okay. Um, about as Rhode Island as it gets. Uh, <laughs> if you're familiar with the uh, New York system, you'll mm -hmm. remember this pretty well. So, celery salt, mustard, red onions, hot wiener, and some meat sauce, and a Wagyu beef burger. Delicious. So, like you said, it is it is the Rhode Islander, right? Yes. There are a lot of great, interesting ingredients too. I was I was reading the list. That's on your website. People can can read the top five burgers Correct. already. Correct. We can also vote on the website after they read them. Excellent. And then Saturday is when the real fun starts. Exactly. So we'll have the panel of five judges, which will include you and Will. Mm -hmm. We also have Becca Burger from 106. Right. Well, with the last name Burger. How else? You have to judge I mean, she's Burger a perfect fit for it. Yeah. Uh, John LK, our owner, and then one of our VIP rewards members, and they'll be voting on all the burgers that day, and we'll crown the top burger. That person will get a $500 gift card to Lux, and they'll also have their burger on our menu for one year. That is huge. And then free stuff for the crowd, too, little samples of the burger, so exactly. no one's leaving hungry. Prizes, giveaways, try to make as much of a party as possible. Fun. So yes. join us there. We'll be there on Saturday with a full belly by the end of it. <laughs> We're going to start making this in just a bit. We are ready to go. We're ready to start putting this uh, this burger together. Chef Max is here. Lux Burger Bar is the place. We're ready to go, right? All right. I guess I'm going to so. turn this fan on. I know you got the grill. Perfect. That griddle going. That's definitely helpful. Um, so we've got a local Rhode Island hot wiener as mm -hmm. well as a Wagyu beef burger. We're just going to go ahead and sear those off real nice and easy. We'll cook it mid-rare. That's about it for that. In terms of the uh, other ingredients, we've already heated up our meat sauce, so that's ready to go. Right. Um, so it's just a matter of cooking this and getting ready. Now I've done this contest before. We've we've all had had some of the burgers from from Lux before. The meat is really one of the most important things when Absolutely. you're cooking something like this, and especially Lux, they get the best best meat that they can put in a burger. Around. Absolutely. So we have a, a couple different beef blends uh, at Lux. This one in particular is the Wagyu. Uh, it's an 80/20 uh, Australian Wagyu. Um, we also have the Gold Label Hereford, which you'll find in a bunch of our other restaurants, mm -hmm. Harry's Barn Burger, and some other places. Um, the meat's obviously the most important part yeah. of the burger. You know, you can't argue with that. So we make the strides to make sure that we get local, or at the very least, the highest quality we can get. And you also want a little, as far as like the the blend of meat that you're that you're putting together. You want a little fat in there. Sure. You want some flavor because that's really where the flavor comes from. Absolutely. Uh, all of our meats are 80/20, which means 80% lean to 20% fat. If you go any less than that, you start to run the risk of drying it out a little bit, right. or you get a little less flavor. So. You'll see most, you know, supermarkets, your standard meats will always be 80 Now, I've done this contest before. I probably should stop eating probably today and save it up so that we can eat on Saturday because there's a, lot, there's a lot of food. Absolutely. Um, and then, of course, for, you know, the people that will be there, we'll be handing out some stuff, you know, to, the, to everyone that's going to be around. Everyone's going to be getting some samples. Right. So Now, out of all of the burgers that you're going to be making, because there's, there's five of them, without saying it, do you have a favorite yourself? out of all of them that have been put together? Well, I might, but you can't know. <laughs> you, you put your may. I am completely unbiased. <laughs> okay. All right. We'll see how that goes. I don't think he's that unbiased. I think he does have a favorite. We will put the burger together, talk about the contest, talk about the restaurant. Just a little bit back to you. Back into the road show kitchen we go this morning, and what a Wednesday it is. Our friends from Lux Burger our, are here, and oh my goodness gracious, we're ready to go. We're ready to complete the Rhode Islander. We have Chef Max Grippo here. How are you, Max? Good, how are Good you? Good to have you. And this is the guy, Michael Dexter. You created the Rhode Islander, didn't you? Correct. So you will be in the competition on uh, Saturday. We'll get to that in just a minute. But for you, sir, they're all completed here. As I said, five pieces of meat on the counter, three behind it. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, but they're completed, but you're going to kind of assemble the Rhode Islander for us here so yep. we can kind of see how it goes. Yep, so uh, we already cooked off the meat in the last segment. Right. Um, we split the burger, or the hot dog rather. So real simple, super easy. Little red onion, throw that on there. 
little yellow mustard. What a great combination. Okay. You're a, a genius. As, <laughs> as Rhode Island as it can be. Yeah. Now for you, Michael, seeing someone else do uh, assemble your creation, is it, do you have to let go? Do you, are you watching him like a hawk saying, no, that's the right thing? You <laughs> no, know he knows it, what he's doing, it's but it's your perfect. creation. It's perfect. I've had it a few times already. In to have a wiener on a burger, I mean, it's the best of both worlds. It's a marriage mm -hmm. made in heaven, yeah. if you ask me. And how did you uh, come to create this? Were you always sort of thinking of different ideas of how you could pair something different? Uh, it was someone to build a burger, and wieners now you're seeing a lot of different things. Um, I've seen a wiener omelet, a wiener pizza. And it came up with one day of, you know, let's put a wean around a burger. It's a great idea. And for you, uh, we stand here, you know, at the threshold of the big competition. You have some stiff competition, indeed. These yep. all look so delectable, so tremendous. How are you feeling here as we get closer? I'm feeling pretty good considering this is a Rhode Island contest. You don't get any more Rhode Island than that. No, you really don't. And certainly it's all uh, in good fun. Uh, this is a competition that you would like to win, certainly. But you know that in the spirit of competition, in the spirit of camaraderie, you guys kind of all are on the same team, aren't you? Yeah, it, it was great fun. Had a lot of laughs over it and, you know, it was a joy to eat. Now, too. have you had the opportunity to sample any of your competition? No. No, okay. <laughs> I'm just wondering because it's okay. It would be still be okay to enjoy someone yep. else's creation. Yeah, now, it would, it, but we've had that every time. What advice would you give to somebody who's looking to maybe get into this? Maybe they want to enter it next year. Maybe they're they're uh, looking for some answers in the kitchen. Is it just to get as creative as possible? Uh, creative, but I don't think crazy. Right. Um, it was pretty simple. There wasn't a lot of ingredients. I think cr too crazy right. turns people We're off. looking for fresh takes on classics. Correct. Pretty much. And for you, Chef, uh, assembling, what did you, his uh, creation, his burger, what did you think when you first heard about this? Were you right away thinking this is awesome? <laughs> I mean, when I first heard about all of them, you know, they're all certainly creative, you know, uh, very different in each way. But the Rhode Islander, I mean, I picked it because it's the Rhode Islander. Absolutely. You know, it, it definitely brings home the, the Providence feel. And people can come out this Saturday? Absolutely. Five o'clock uh, Saturday. Two o'clock, sorry. At two o'clock. Um, heard a voice. <laughs> <laughs> yep, two o'clock on Saturday. We'll be there all day. It's going to be a great time. Plenty of people. Should be a blast. And you have some fabulous judges. Will will be there. Michaela will be there. You also have Becca Burger. Hot yep, 106. from Hot 106. So and you, uh, these, the owner himself will be there as well. These people know their burgers, don't they? And uh, other than the Rhode Islander, can you take us through what else we have here? So we have the uh, Beat Don't Kill My Vibe first. Uh, pickled beets, some guacamole, sautéed kale, a little onion, special sauce. I tell you what's in it, but I'm not allowed to. It's, it's a secret. Uh, we have a fajita, um, just about as fajita as it gets. Uh, some fried avocado and jalapenos, a couple other uh, peppers and onions and stuff on top, and some pepper jack and uh, chicken. Man, I know, right? I may have to swing by on I'm, Saturday. I'm, I'm I getting think. the itis already. It all looks tremendous. May I sample the Rhode Islander? You I'm certainly can. come here to look at it for crying out loud, <laughs> Michael. Let me get in there and make this happen. Look at this. I got a big mouth, so this won't be a problem. Oh, man. <laughs> that is fantastic. You have captured the essence of creativity and Rhode Island all in one burger. Michael, thank you very much. Thank you. Congratulations thank on you. the creation and best of luck this weekend. And Chef, Max, Rippo, good to have you here, buddy. Glad to be Thank here. Thank you for you doing much. this for us. You guys, if you'd like to learn more about Lux Burger, to get the recipes, to learn more about the big competition, I can wrap up the segment so I can start chewing. It's roadshow.com. <laughs>